Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you for career and finance. The Ace of Cups, very nice. Okay, so you've got a business venture opportunity that could be very uh, productive, fruitful uh, for you. It could it could uh, turn out very well. It could also be some spiritual work or something that you do creatively. Um, you get some type of inspiration from the universe, whatever you you know you you're inspired to do this thing to create. Uh, this will be something new. You could also be recreating yourself in terms of, you know, how the world looks at you. Let's see what love and romance brings. The nine of pentacles. Kind of feel like these are kind of uh, transposed. Like you are the nine of pentacles in your career and finance and love and romance, the ace of cups. So there could be something new in love and romance, new person, new lease on life new love for yourself, delving into spirituality so you can be better when you do reinvent yourself or you do re-inject yourself into the dating market, learning about yourself, learning about people, learning about the, the opposite sex or the same sex, learning how to be in relationship, maybe some interpersonal connection also. And nine, the nine of pentacles, you could be very abundant right now. You could be very fruitful. You could have a business idea that you need to embark on. You need to get out there. You need to make it happen. Um, you could be experiencing a level of uh, financial stability by your own hand. You did the work. Now you're at a place of resting in the energy of doing the work. You have enough. It's here for you. Uh, you can slow down. You can even engage in something else, maybe a passion project because you have enough money. You're not in the rat race anymore. What spirit wants you to know is the queen of pentacles in reverse. Make sure that you're not in the energy of um, being materialistic, uh, not nurturing yourself, going so hard for the money that you're not putting the time, energy, effort into your well-being, your health, your spiritual health, your emotional health. Make sure that you nurture and take time for the ones that you love also because upright, the queen of pentacles takes time for the ones that she loves. Make sure that you take some time. Uh, also, um, make sure that the money is coming in and you're actually growing it. There is growth. It's just not money coming in. You spend it and then you make the money again and then you spend it again. Make sure that you're seeing growth because the queen of pentacles is about growth, nurturing, cultivation, more, better, luxury. Make sure that you're not doing anything for the money. Just any old thing, right? Um, there, it looks like some, some contracts some contracts, some contractual agreement comes in for you. It just looks very good for you, especially this week in terms of money, people patronizing your business, wanting to work with you. They're seeing that you're doing some high quality work. So they're like, look, I need to get a part of that. I need to be a part of that. This person puts out a really good product or a really good service. Other people, competitors are looking at you, higher up superiors, your angels, your guides, they're proud, they're proud of you. There's somebody also that wants to work with you, you know, in tandem, like, look, we can make this work. Yes, we are different, but we can make it work. Uh, this is what I have for you. Well, let's see what we're doing. All right, let's see what the card, what the um, Oracle cards want to tell you, Aquarius. Make sure you aren't lording yourself over somebody like, oh, I got this, I have that, I have that. So, you know, I'm better than you. Also, make sure you're not dealing with some greedy, selfish, manipulative, materialistic, gold digging type of feminine energy. Okay. And feminine doesn't just mean woman. You know, it, it could be a man to somebody who's in their feminine energy where they're just, a, you know, they're a taker. They're there to get, you know, they're there to align themselves because it's, you know, their security. What do you want to tell the Aquarius from the Oracle deck? Okay. Um, all right. So here we go. 
addicted to love. Somebody could be addicted to you uh, with the Ace of Cups or they're very much in love with you. You feel like it's a risk dealing with this person, gambling addiction. You could have that going on with you. You feel like all we do is break up and then make up with the all night sex session, the toxicity. Um, you could have jealous, jealous friends. Okay. Or a friend telepathy is happening between these are supposed to be brains. Anyway, um, <laughs> telepathy is happening between you and someone else. Okay. So you are communicating, you know, via the mind, the brain, the, the crown chakra. Uh, you also pick it up on vibes of somebody once again, being jealous of you, you know, um, mean girl club. There's some, somebody who just doesn't mean you well. They, they don't care for you. They don't like you. Um, they they could be getting other people to get on the bandwagon also Aquarius. So this is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. All right. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Um, go over to the website book there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy L a coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday night, 9 30 PM Eastern standard time. You can purchase something from the Amazon wish list. It's below. You can also learn the tarot with me. The classes are linked below. All right. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you.